Even as new cases in Arizona remain low, there are still people in our community at high risk of getting incredibly sick, such as those battling diseases like cancer. Tonight, Mark Cameron Polam speaking to a Valley business who faced off with an anti-masking extremist, all because they still require face masks, all to protect their vulnerable customers. Thank you for calling Sunny's. How may I help you? Inside Sunny's hair extensions and wigs in Mesa, the lives of cancer patients are improved every day. When they come in, a lot of times they're really distraught. Um, they'll come in in tears or as they sit down and take their scarf off, then they'll start crying. Manager Roberta Smith is used to crying along with them, but once the tears are shed, it's time to make them smile once again. It's hard, but we try to make it fun for them too. So we'll a lot of times pull down pink or red or, you know, we'll try to pull long, really crazy ones out for them too, you know, just to try to make it fun. For those being treated for cancer, losing your hair can feel like losing your identity and coming into a place like this isn't easy. But when they do, this business is committed to keeping them safe, especially due to their vulnerable health. I looked up and I noticed him standing out here videotaping but we have this sign here that says because we have clients with weakened immune systems we still have everyone wear a mask she says on may 28th a known anti-masking advocate with other extreme views began harassing them inside the store about the policy taking video and threatening the workers do you really not care about cancer patients so much sir what matters is how these ladies calmly explained their stance and kept their cool despite the disturbing incident after five minutes of arguing, he finally left. Harassing phone calls began to roll in once the man posted the video to his online followers, leaving employees traumatized. The phone would be like, oh, is it going to be a bad hour when someone would come in? We're like, oh, is it him again? Like, is it his people? However, in the face of hate, love from our community and beyond shine through. We've had people calling us from New Hampshire, New Jersey, Kentucky. They've called from everywhere to give us their support. We've had, the mayor came in to see us yesterday. A lot of our, um, the callers were people who maybe had cancer or have had a loved one pass away. So it was just really nice to know that not everybody is as evil <laughs> as that guy is. And tonight we're grateful for people like these ladies and the work they do to better the lives of so many. I'm Cameron Polum, ABC 15, Arizona.